the PlayStation, or PS1, became a hit in the 90s. So that inspired Sony to make the PS, or PlayStation, PS is short for PlayStation, so you can either call that PlayStation 1 or PS1. But then they came out with the PS or PlayStation. The PlayStation 2 in 2000. Now, I'm going to review it. So, PS2 is black. This time it has just a little more style. And this time they developed controllers with analog sticks. They also vibrate when you're playing games. Buttons stayed the same pretty much. And then they added the analog. Then they added the analog sticks. And then, I don't know, uh, probably in here. I'm trying to look for the PS2 games so I can review. Here they are. So, I just want to make it clear, this is not mine. Um... So here we go. This, okay, yeah, this is mine. This actually goes to the PS1, but guess what? PS2 games are usually intended for PS2, of course, right in the name. But PS1 games are also intended for PS2 and will work surprisingly so um i don't know what game is in there right now it is this game this is now first of all before i tell you the name of the game you will notice that the ps2 discs are silver now i don't know the king kong game because i don't know how to play it i just got it i didn't I don't, i've never seen the movie but Basically, the comparison, first of all, the PS1 games being black, the PS2 games are either silver or they're blue, like this, um, which is pretty cool. And these are pretty much car games. This is another PS1 game, but it will work with the PS2, obviously. Yeah, it's a difference. Pretty sure PS1 games only came in black. I got two blue PS1 discs. My Kind of my favorite discs, personally. Then the regular silver ones. And unfortunately, I kept telling people not to leave any mean comments on my PS1 review. But they did, and YouTube turned off my comments. It might not even be that I'm getting hate comments. It's just there's this thing going around. I don't know what it is. But anyway, there's something new YouTube's doing. But we're focusing on the review. So this is the PS2. So um, they're... Um, think pretty similar price to the ps1 i actually have a memory card for this one but for some reason it won't work the memory card slots are different on the ps1 they closed like the flap they flapped inward on the bottom but on this one they flap inward on the top so yeah and the fact that this ps logo, PlayStation logo, whatever, is rotatable. Now, more about the console. Here's the bottom. Um, probably says, yep, there's the model number. 
thought I have. And doesn't seem to say the year, but uh, I can assure you this was made in 2000. This is actually the slim version. Um, there was a regular where the disc ejects by itself, but I missed out on that one, so. They're basically both the, exactly the same, though, so I'm just gonna film, oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm just gonna film, um, the one I have, since it's exactly the same as the regular, other than the, other than this. And now it's ignoring me, that. And then the size and that. But other than that, this is actually exactly the same. So it doesn't really matter if I do a review on the regular one. Because there's no difference in functions with this one. So basically this is just a PS2. They just made it into a slimmer version, but basically this is just a PS2 review since it does the exact same thing as PS2. So anyway, I'm gonna get a game and I'm not sure how I'm gonna set the phone up. So I'm gonna put in one of my blue games here for Midnight Club. PlayStation 2. Then I'm going to put it in my PS2. And then you're going to see the, the boot up, what it was like. It's less dancey and a little more calm. And then eventually it pops up PlayStation 2. Hear that? That's the fan coming on. Okay. I don't know if PS1 actually had fans or not. I'll have to look that up. Because I got that too. For my birthday, I'm getting PS2. But anyways. Here's the true value of the PS2 now. So, tell you what. New obsession. Anyways, back to the review. I think we will be able to do it, guys. So, the analog sticks are either for going forward, backward, side to side, or you can just use the regular joystick. Up, down, or forward. This is usually forward if you're not using the analog. Like, if the analog is off, and the light goes off, you, use, you hold in this button to go forward. And these are to go back and do other things, like, let's say, go backwards. So I'm going to start it. So we're going to choose Arcade. And we're going to go to New York. And this is the button I'm selecting with. We'll do a waypoint. Now you'd also get to... If you want to pick your driver, to, well, just any game, I guess. You, if you want to go side to side, move side to side when you're driving or whatever, or moving on a certain game, you just press these. In this case, it's choosing a driver, but it's not really a review of the game, it's more of the console and how good it was. I don't want to be a female. I'll be this guy. So now, you can actually pick your car. So this is a taxi, obviously. 
You can also do a Crucero. Kind of dark, you can't really see it. Or we can do a green truck. I think I'll go with the green truck. You can even pick the colors. I'll go with blue. And now, basically, you can play it and you can hear the fan. PS2 is breathing. So now, we're going to wait until this loads. And I'll show you basically the value of the PS2 now. This phone has maximum storage, thanks to your father. Okay, guys. See it? Yep, you can. So hold, we're holding this, and then we'll go side to side. Hold these buttons, and I'm holding in this to go forward. Or you can go forward like this, and go side to side like that. Or you can change it so you can see your view, or the truck's view, and the controller does vibrate. No papa, what happened? I thought you could drive, right? So I'm moving. Here's my checkpoint. Nope. I just ran into cars. This is to reverse sometimes. I'm bumping into everything, aren't I? Let's go. There's a PS2 game in after the boot up song and all the cubes, it will zoop and say PlayStation 2. But if I put a PS1 game in, it will actually do the chimes and have the PS logo like the PS1. So let me show you. The first sequence will be the same, but then the second one where it would usually go is the chimes from the PS1 with the PS1 logo. So um, I'm going to put that in. This is a black disc. So I'm not even going to tell people to not leave hate comments because I know I'm just going to get them anyway. So, or it might just be YouTube because... They have this thing for kids. YouTube for kids and stuff. I don't know. But look at the startup with a PS1 game. And yes, it does work with PS1. Games. Now check this out. <laughs> See? the chimes from the PS1 and the PS1 logo rather than the P PS2 logo since I put in a PS1 game. So overall, this is a great console. You can put any PS1 game in, at least. But not, not much else. Just a PS1 game. And that's about it, but... You can't put, like, other console games in there. I mean, of course you can put PS2 games in there. This 
is Super Trucks Racing. If, if you want to see what the game's like. I actually hold my controller in my lap while you watch the screen, actually. I never really thought about that. So when the analog light's on, that means you can use these, or if it's off, which doesn't appear to be working. So we're going to skip all the intros. We'll do single race. Now, these are either for going side to side when you're on a car, or selecting a car depending on what game you're playing so I'll do the blue in this case I don't hit start I hit the X then I go down that's usually what it is for selecting and going side to side sometimes if you press like one of these buttons or one of these at the top it'll honk the horn or something or it'll change your view so there I am and if you want you can change our, your view Why am I not going? There we go. I am bad at some of these. You probably are too. Hot air balloon up there. Oh, shoot. But you get the idea. Not easy to do with one hand, but it's a good console. Hooks up to your TV, just like PS1. So, yeah. If you're just now starting PlayStations, like all the old ones, or if you've grown up with these, let me know. Probably not in the comments of this video because it'll get removed knowing that. And since we looked at the PS2, you want to take one more look at the PS1? So this is a PS2, and this is the PS1.